What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Just wanted to show everybody how beautifully golden delicious this cake came out. This is not only the finish line, but this is the victory celebration in how beautifully gorgeous golden brown this cake turned out. This is a pan de España, which is very similar to like an angel food cake or like a sponge cake except so much more airier and fluffier and just delicious, absolutely delicious. So different regions of Italy make this in different ways. The way that I particularly grew up with this and the recipe that I cherish and will save with me, you know, hopefully I get a chance to pass it on to someone else. Like you people, because I'm always thinking about those fans out there, right? And those YouTube subscribers, <laughs> which is a good reason why you want to hit that thumbs up button, right? Hit the like button down there below. Hit the description section for a link to all the products that I'm using. And also comment if you have any comments or questions. Basically, this particular recipe was the, the main ingredients were there were eight eggs, one teaspoon of lemon juice, 250 grams of sugar. We whisked those up in the... KitchenAid stand mixer. You could use any mixer you want. I just like this one because it's very efficient. It does what it needs to do. Then what I did was I added one teaspoon of vanilla, right? Vanilla Bean Kings love their products. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisked that in just to incorporate it all. And then what I did was I added the dry ingredients, which were basically 200 grams of cornstarch, 50 grams of flour, and then one teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda interacts with the lemon juice. It causes a chemical reaction that gets very gassy, as you can see, and just expands. And the cornstarch adds lightness or airiness to the recipe, which causes it to rise and float. And then the flour in there provides structure like a balloon. So all that gas has somewhere to go so it doesn't just escape out. So anyways, we are here now. We're in the victory lap right <laughs> for, of our final project what i'm going to do now is this has completely cooled down oh by the way we baked it at 350 degrees for a total of 30 minutes at 20 minutes i kind of checked it just to see how everything was going but the total cook time was 30 minutes so not bad so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to flip this thing over take it out of its bunt pan and uh, we'll take a look at how the final cake looks and we'll also cut it and slice it and see what the inside looks like. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that here. So I'm gonna throw on my, my Snorri Cam rig. There we go. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Remember, we did get some spillage. Like when I baked this, I had it on top of a like a cookie sheet, right? To catch any of that overflow. What you can do is when you're making the recipe, if you have some left over, like as you fill up the sides of the pan, so as you, as you fill up the bunt pan, you never want to go all the way to the top because remember, it's going to, it's going to expand even more. What I did was, was I filled mine to about right there. So that's about, I'd say that's about maybe three fifths of the way up the side. If you have a lot of leftover, just make, you can use them to make little muffins. I remember like my grandmother used to make little muffins with the leftover batter or whatever, but never fill it up to the top because it is going to expand. So anyways, let's go ahead and flip. Uh, so here we go. Here's our flip. Oh, and then hopefully we get a good, a good release. Let's see if, uh, let's see if it's going to go. And sometimes this, sometimes this does take a second. I might have to pull it from the inside. Uh, it wants to go like I can, I can hear it moving. Like, I know that the edge wants to go. So gravity may help me here. Let's see. It is so light. Like, just touching it, I'm squishing it. I'm squishing your face. I'm crushing your head. If you remember that reference. Uh, but let's see if it wants to go. It might take a second. Real world problems here. You know, not everything is perfect. Not everything is a perfect YouTube video, right? But I can I can definitely feel it. Like I can feel that it wants to it wants to go. Let's see if I can release from the sides. I did put butter and cornstarch on the sides to help with this process, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> as is the case with many things, I think I might have let it sit for too long before doing this release. But anyways, you know, these are real world problems. You can always decorate the sides with frosting. If that's how you want to fix the uh, the edges, but it feels it feels like it wants to go almost. 
Oh, so close. Let's see. Almost there, almost there. Oh, it's so close. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. There. Okay, so basically there we go. So not too bad. So not too bad stickage, but I mean, these are real, these are real world problems. So this is the part that you can just go in there and just spoon out and just scrape like this, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, all that goodness right there. I'm going to go ahead and eat all that. But anyways, this is a Nordic wear bun pan. I will put a link down below in the description. I'll also put some links to some of the other products that I used uh, during this whole process. So let's go ahead and take a look. Like I said, not everything is perfect. <laughs> perfect YouTube video. But let's go ahead and take a look at how beautifully shaped this cake was how the outside is i mean look at that golden brownness i mean that is just that is just heavenly to me this was exactly the way that i remember the pan de España cake uh, that my grandmother used to make as well so let me go ahead and cut into this uh i'm gonna go ahead and do this always try to have a good sharp knife because this is so very soft let's go ahead and cut one more one more slice and there you go boom look at how airy fluffy and soft this is that is just to me that's just heaven <laughs> that is heaven. that's the reason why maybe it's called angel food cake but that is so soft and so squishy oh i'm gonna enjoy every last little bite of this of course i'm probably gonna eat this much of the cake. <laughs> no joke but anyways you get the idea if you do like what you're seeing definitely hit that like button hit the subscribe button down there below wherever that is remember to check out the description section for a link to you know the KitchenAid mixer and a lot of the other tools and toys that i use when i cook and if you have any comments post them up in the comments section uh hopefully you can all comment and let me know that your cake turned out exactly the same way that this one, that this beautiful cake did. If you have any other questions, let me know and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.